Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we'll learn how a non-recursive function can have a time complexity of O of log n. For this video, you will need a general understanding of logarithms, which I've explained in a previous video, which you can access by clicking the link currently displayed on your screen. And without further ado, let's get started. So we'll start with a very simple function, which contains only a while loop that assigns a new value to the variable n for each iteration. And for this example, let's imagine that we're passing the value a to our n for this function. So that means we'll iterate through this while loop as long as 8 is greater than 1. And for each iteration of this while loop, we're going to divide our n by 2 and reassign it to n. So our n's going to be halved for each iteration. So currently, our n is equal to 8 because we passed in 8 as n. And while n is greater than 1, we're going to iterate. So right now, n is 8, which is greater than 1. So we'll do this math.floor n divided by 2 for our first iteration. Which would set our n equal to 8 divided by 2, which is 4. And this math.floor, all it does is it floors the result of our division. So for example, if we have math.floor 5 divided by 2, we would get 2 here instead of 2.5. So after this first iteration, our n is now equal to 4. So while n is greater than 1, we're going to do another iteration. So 4 is greater than 1, so we're going to do this again. and n is going to equal 4 divided by 2, which is going to equal 2. So now our n is equal to 2. And while n is greater than 1, we're going to do this again. So n is currently greater than 1. 2 is greater than 1. So we're going to do it again for a third iteration. So n is going to equal 2 divided by 2 which is going to equal 1. So at this point, our n is equal to 1, and we're going to go to this condition here again. So while n is greater than 1, we're going to do this, but right now n is equal to 1. It's no longer greater than 1. So we're not going to continue with this while loop. So why is this function O of log n? So our n is 8. So that means that this function should be O of log 8. And if you remember from the previous video on O of log n complexity, this is just the same thing as O of log base 2, 8, which just means what power do we need to raise 2 by to get 8? And if we write this out, what power do we need to raise 2 by to get 8? We see that we need to raise 2 to the third power to get 8 because 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. So this 3 is what's important, because division is just the inverse of multiplication. So if we need to multiply 2 times 2 times 2 to get 8, then we should also be able to divide 8 by 2 3 times to get 1. So there's 1, 2, 3. So that means that for this function, when we pass in a value for n, we're always going to need to divide this value n by 2 log n times before we can get 1. Which is just another way of saying that when we pass n to this function, we're going to iterate through this while loop log n iterations before we get to the value 1. So if you see here, we have one iteration two iterations, three iterations. So there's three iterations here. So this is this three is log in iterations because again, O log in just means O log base two of eight because our n is eight and log base two of eight is three because 2 to the power of 3 equals 8, which is our n. 
And that is why this non-recursive function is o log n, because there will be log n iterations, one, two, three, before this while loop ends. I hope that makes sense.